comes into our life to teach that if I dress you, you'll be speaking from the heart of Prophet not at your station, but at my station. Bisana Siddiq al Aliyah. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Al Razeem, Bismillah Al Rahman Al Raheem. When you truly love Allah, He directs your heart to what He loves. He gives you from the best of what He has, and the most dearest and nearest to that reality is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad. And the immensity of that reality that from the presence of Prophet to talk about his Qaleed, the one whom he loves and the one whom loves him and the station that, that represents of that ishq. We're reminded about Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and that Siddiqiyya ishq. One of the understandings of the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq for Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah that it comes into our life to teach that your heart has to have the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that is the love of Allah and that if your heart is a sun, your head is the moon. Means if your heart is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet teaching to us that my moon is Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that he represents me, he represents this love, he represents this ishq, he represents this character and this companionship and proximity to me. And this turuq is based on that reality. This turuq is, is a path towards that ishq and that love. That when we want to know that how is my character, what should be my character, what is this example, means that I have to take the way of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq That he's coming and teaching us a reminder that I represent the moon, I represent this following of this reality. The face of the moon and the face of guidance. Allah says, I show you upon the horizon and you should see it and find it within yourself. Means you find within yourself and upon the horizon but inside is more difficult for those who are not experienced in tafakkur and contemplation. So they see on the horizon what Allah gave to us as the most important examples on our horizon. What is a horizon? The sun means look out a little bit, Oop. as soon as you look out you see a sun that represents eternity. It's been there from the beginning and we don't even know when the beginning was. And it represents a light, that's the prophetic reality. Nothing is like Allah that's something kindergarten when you graduate and you have an aqal and a head, you don't give examples by saying it's like Allah says, I have no shaykh, I have nothing shabi, nothing like unto me. Don't compare me with something you don't understand, you'll make a mistake. Best of adab, nothing is like Allah keep this within the ocean of creation. It's a created light, it's an example and it's eternal and it benefits our existence upon this earth. Awliyaullah come and teach us once you study the reality of the sun, what does it give to this earth? It gives you eyesight, it gives you breath, it gives you guidance and warmth. If your earth was a little bit farther, you'd freeze. If your earth was a little bit closer, you'd burn. It's a rahmah and a mercy for your existence. Other planets, when they're too far from the sun, they're frozen. So Allah could have created you like a jinn in a frozen climate. But He said, no, I give you a mercy. I'm going to beautify this earth because I'm going to bring these holy feet upon this earth the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad 
Assalamu alaikum. We hope that you're enjoying the video, inshallah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content, inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels, and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair, and we will return to the program. So it means this sun represents the Muhammadan light. And the one whom Allah gave that station to follow it completely and perfectly is Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq in the moon. Right? Represents the moon. I am the moon of Sayyidina Muhammad. I am the one whom followed Prophet with all difficulty, with all testings, with everything. I am the one who represents that perfection for you. Don't look left and don't look right. Those whom Allah inspired out of all the tariqahs, inspired to Naqshbandiyat al Aliyah, is the soul of every other tariqah. It comes from its ocean of Naqshbandiyat, not even comparable in its understanding the depth of its reality because of the proximity of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq to the proximity of Sayyidina Muhammad As we were talking before that on the Isra al Miraj Prophet heard the voice of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. So this haqqaiq and this heart and this reality, these secrets and these knowledges coming from the heart of the great Siddiq. His heart is in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad If you want to come into the Muhammadan heart, who can save you inside that heart? So that not to be continuously under the, the affliction of shaitan. Why Prophet gave that? Why did that happen? Was Allah just telling stories? Nation just has a nice story to remember. Or there's a haqqaiq that Allah wants from guidance. That I know that I've created you and I put you on this path and your path is going to be continuous satanic attack. Take this off, take that off, put this on, put every, every type of attack to destroy your deen, destroy your religion, destroy your belief until the end Prophet described it'd be like holding fire in your hand, hot coal. Do you feel like you're holding hot coal yet? Then you didn't get there, you still have time to come. So what does that mean it's going to be like hot coal? Just putting a beard is not like hot coal. Shaitan is going to be attacking, attacking, attacking until Prophet described that if my time, if they left one tenth of what I taught them, it was Jahannam. But a nation will come in the end of days. If they follow one tenth of what I taught, they'll be in paradise. That's a big reality that has to do with the ishq and the love. So come into the Muhammadan heart, Allah giving that if you want to really be ashiqeen and have this ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad, take my path. It's loaded with secrets. Take your foot and come into my heart, into my love and make your foot and your path to be from my path. And I bless your qadam, inspire your qadam that don't let it to go here and there where shaitan is biting at your, your step and making you to lose your path. And I'm going to dress you with the qamar reality. I want to dress your face. Because in Sayyidina Abu Bakr teaching us what was his quality. So I'm going to dress your hearing from my hearing. This is where the love comes. This is a great love story. Because people are not understanding and they're mixing satanic energies, satanic characteristics and this great love story is teaching us, this love that I have for Sayyidina Muhammad is beyond your understanding. That I'm the one whom is Samina Watana. What many doubted, I didn't doubt. Whatever was spoken from his holy lips 
I was the first to believe, the first adult to believe, the first one to always say, no, I heard it, I obeyed. My ears had an immense love that can't be even understood, can't be even surpassed. I dress you from that love. So he begins to teach. When this Muhammadan heart is talking to you, don't mix it with waswas. I never did that. I never listened to Prophet Wasallam, and then with my other ear, I listened to the garbage of shaitan. The two, I don't mix, I don't mix them. I don't give an ear to shaitan, listen to waswas, backbiting, bad talks, crazy people who talk against our belief system. But my entire existence was this love. So the ihtiram and the love that you show for that reality coming out, because the shaykhs are the Muhammadan representatives. When they're speaking Muhammadan haqqaiqs, the level in which you show an ihtiram, a respect and a reverence is granting you now Siddiqiyya hearing. Levels of the heart. Lataif al Kalb by Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. One of the understandings of the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq for Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah that he comes into our life to teach that my eyes had such a reverence, such a love for the reality of Prophet How much I loved him, how much I admired him, how much ishq I had from my love that just yearning to see him and be with him. That what Allah opened of yaqeen and certainty within that heart address you from the purity because we're asking purity and Siddiqiyya character through action and through their amal and through their words that I'll make your eyes to be truthful. My yearning and my sincere love for you is closing my desire from the eye and opening my physical heart's desire to be with you so that you become from Ahlul Basira. They still live in the dunya, they still eat and drink and drive, they still have children and family. But their desire for akhirah is much more powerful than their desire for dunya. That they yearn for the time that they have in that presence to be in that light and he begins to dress their their nature of vision and they become from Ahlul Basira in which their love and their yearning for the Muhammadan light and the Muhammadan reality as it reflects through only Allah, through the companions, through Ahlul Bayt all the way to the presence of the Sultan. So then I dress you with the hearing, with my seeing and I dress you with the Siddiqiyya, Nisan al Siddiq al Aliyya. The Siddiq and Ali, because the Naqshbandi carries both realities. Nisan al Siddiq al Aliyya, the truthful, most highest tongue. Because if I dress you, 
you'll be speaking from the heart of Prophet not at your station but at my station. This khidmat and this love for Prophet is the immense yearning and love that with this love so deep for Prophet they could never imagine bringing anything bad, anything not right, not pure, not clean. So how could you be destined to clean from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and bring these souls to be clean? What type of fear would you have if Allah gives you that responsibility that you may let down Prophet So it means all their good character was so that their khidmat would be pure, that their khidmat and their service, you pray, you fast, you give so that your service will be pure. Not because you were getting the reward of your praying, your fasting and your charity, but you pray that those would purify your character. It's not your prayer that gets you into paradise because Allah's going to judge you. Maybe you prayed because everyone in your house forced you to pray. Your dad would come and smack you if you didn't pray. That's not a praying that counts to Allah That's why that amal is going to be judged. Many parents, they beat their kids, get up and pray. Oh, they're all lined up, okay. No, it's not the amal. They're forced to give, they're forced to fast. It's Ramadan, somebody may sneak and try to eat when nobody's watching and they beat them up too. No, so the amal has to be judged by Allah But no, they did all their amal, not asking for Allah to judge it, but Ya Rabbi, the, the proof should be in my character. If my amal was good, my character should be sweet and wanting to be of service. And as a result, that service brought every barakah into their life. Even all, Prophet described even their actions, they are servants of Allah Their actions, if you look at it, may appear to be weak, but their khuluq and their character is very dear to Allah because He sweetens and purifies them. These sweet and purified people, they live a life of serving and helping. As a result, then the great Siddiq is the best of examples of that reality. I lived a life wanting to serve, I serve with my physical life and I've been given a mission in the spiritual realm to guide the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad back to Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why Naqshbandi is so powerful up to the last day. That's why you get their nazar. Nazar is not just you say, look at me. Their nazar is upon us because what we're doing, how you produce, how you promote, how do you take that responsibility and reach to people, thousands, tens of thousands of people. How do you teach them and inspire them towards this love and begins to teach that this responsibility and the immensity of the responsibility, that's why, that's why. When Prophet on Jummah got up and described the hadith and somebody asked questions that you will be with whom you love. Why Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq was so excited and happy by that hadith? that he began to whirl in his ecstasy, not for himself. He already knows he's the Siddiq. Prophet already described that, I heard your feet in paradise. But because of the responsibility that these souls that I'm responsible to bring back and this khidmat that my soul will eternally be doing, he gave me the key of its reality is that they would just love you and by that love like a magnet, they'll be with you. And you're already with me and you will have brought them and pulled them into my reality. Imagine trying to round up people, trying to convince people, trying to clean people. But then Prophet gave the key from Allah they merely should love you. You'll be with whom you love. So then the real guidance, especially in days of difficulty teaching. 
that this hadith was a warning for us. They're not going to follow these rules. Don't put up so many rules that people are not going to be able. You have to know the time that you're in for guidance and these are the last days. And they're barely going to follow anything from what Prophet ﷺ brought. But your key of guidance is ishq and muhabbat. If they love you, they will be with you. So what the great Siddiq is teaching us, let them love you. If they love you, they'll just want to be with you. They don't judge them on what they did and didn't do. They're not going to do it. You're not Allah. Allah knows the time He created and the creation He created and what His creation is going to listen to. Your responsibility from them is to be from the people of who? Give your guidance and have your loving character. If they love you like a magnet, they move towards your reality and I will grab them because I'm already dressing your face. When they look to your face, my eyes will grab them. When they look to you and hear your speech, my ears will grab them. When they listen to your sound, my tongue will grab them. He's dressing, he's not sitting retired. So I'm going to dress you with the Siddiqi character. When your face is a moon from them, it says, put your moon out, we will grab them. It means we'll open their hearing when they hear from your tongue. You speak, they hear because they'll lock the, unlock the ears. Will open their eyes to begin to see something that other people may not be understanding and seeing. It means you just put your love out there and we will grab them. As a result, imagine Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq's love begin to address them. He's already with whom he loves. He pulls their soul into the presence of Prophet to intercede for them. Then the secret of their teaching and their realities to put out these realities is just to catch people. The person's listening, the Siddiqiyah reality hits their heart and opens it. The Siddiqiyah reality begins to dress their ears that, oh, I heard something I never heard before into my heart. And then begin to train them that open your heart and they begin to open the reality of their spiritual vision to grab and bring them back. that this is a way of ishq and muhabbat in these last days, Ya Rabbi. Give us all character to be tolerant, to be patient, to have good character, ishq and muhabbat of your Divinely Presence, ishq and muhabbat of the love and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and make us to be a reflection of that. That great Siddiq upon this earth, Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, that literally you could look at Mawlana Shaykh and you would cry. You looked at Mawlana Shaykh and all you could feel was the ishq and love and that he was not calling you a kafir. He was not calling you anything bad. He was not trying to throw you away. But he knew his responsibility in the presence of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. I'm not here to throw people into the hands of shaitan, shaitan already doing that. My only purpose was to bring you with love and ishq that that's what the nation is in need of, is that these great faces and great saints that would bring people with ishq and muhabbat and such a smile. We pray that His nazar be upon us and that He dress us from these characteristics and this ishq and muhabbat to bring people to the presence of these great awliya, these great sahabi, great Ahlul Bayt and that Prophet to be happy and rida with us. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon. والسلام على المرسلين وحمد لله رب العالمين ورحمة محمد المصطفى وبسر سورة الفاتحة If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. 
We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. As well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide, from feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side to clothing LA's homeless community and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.